Well, this is the top of Bannerman Pass. It's taken 4 hours and 14 minutes to get here from the car park. So the pace has been slower than what I managed on Langili uh, Belele Pass, but to be expected on a harder pass. Uh, the target for this trip is under 7 hours 30, which I guess you could say is a bit slow, but overall I think it's fair considering the terrain. To achieve that time, I have about an hour and 20 minutes left to get to the top of Sankabati and then and from there to the top of Langali Belele Pass and then from Langali Belele Pass to the car park after in two hours again which I think I should be able to do as long as I don't overdo it early on here. Overall where I currently am is actually half distance because it's the contour part section on the, um, what's it, uh, between Bannerman Ridge and Bannerman Pass accounts for about the same amount of distance as the escarpment section so that makes the top of the pass halfway. Um, of course in terms of vertical I've still got a bit of an uphill left so there's no uphill on the walkout and the walkout's way faster than the walk-in. So yeah, all should be good. Nice to see my good old Popple Peak again. Once again, mountain to myself. Bit of, well, quite a bit of mist around but I think I'll be above it pretty soon and I chose this area because I know it so well. Reality is I could probably find Langali Belele Pass in the mist without a GPS anyway. So all should be good, all's going well so far. Uh, the mist has actually been delightful because it was so incredibly hot at the bottom. Yeah, just a case now of going and trying to bag Sankabati. If it's misty on top of the ridge I'm not going to bother with it but hopefully you can get Sankabati and then um, yeah, head down the pass as quickly as I can and yeah, good day out.